What's up YouTube? Justin here, back at it again with another storage video. Today I will be installing some washers on my OBS F250's bumper. I want to push it out a little bit farther, just a little bit, five washers on each side, and then uh, I gotta adjust it because it, it's a little lopsided. So let's go do that. Okay guys, so what I will be using in today's video is I got a 25 pack, but I've got half inch stainless flat washers. I'm not gonna be using a lock washer. I don't think it's really necessary. And then I've got a uh, 13 16th uh, socket, deep socket specifically. And then uh, three inch drive ratchet. And then I've got these uh, half inch nuts that I took off already on the truck. But as you can see, it is pretty lopsided. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys into the truck. Alright guys, so, I'm behind the bumper now. As you can see, there is the, where the nuts and washers were originally. I'm gonna go ahead and do one at a side, one side at a time. But I do have to correct myself, I will be putting five on each stud here. So, in order for that, I will need ten. 10 on this side and then 10 on this side so like I said I've already cracked these loose I'm gonna go ahead and do this one and then for the demonstration I will be doing this side on video okay guys so I got this side done and I'll just have to do this side but it's really simple basically all I did was take the two nuts off back them out completely and then on the other side of mine at least there's the that's holding on two studs here on the bumper is the uh, it's like a base plate for the two studs that hold the nut on and the bumper on to the frames uh, bumper plate here so in order to expand it and push it outwards a little bit like I stated, I put five half inch washers, flat washers, behind the both of the studs in between the frames, uh, frames base plate and the bumpers base plate here. Um, and then put one washer just before I put on each nut. Go ahead and crank them down. And as you can see there, it's done. I'm going to get out from under the truck and show you the clearance I have now and everything not like it was rubbing before but I wanted it to look a little neater on the body lines okay guys so as you can see absolutely amazing now I like it where it's at now you can start to see the uh, lip it's like a little bend down if that makes sense I don't know if you could really see it on camera it's extremely shiny yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it's got a little divot there. Kind of pushed that out a little bit the way I wanted it. So you can see here, yeah, you got a little bit of a two finger, like as in, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of a gap there, but I'm not too worried about it. It's good as it's going to get. It's on both sides, actually, but it's good as it's going to get. I'm just saying, as in, from the fender to the bumper, it's about two fingers of uh, push forward. And uh, I'm actually happy with that. I'm really happy with that. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today's video. Hope you all are enjoying the content so far. Please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.